Hello everybody, it's Zechariah. As many of you know, I am dedicating my running to run for a fallen police officer, firefighter, and U.S. Border Patrol member who lost her life in line of duty in 2021. And tonight I'm running for another fallen officer who have lost his life in line of duty. Tonight I'm running for home confinement officer Michael Andrew Silman. He worked with the, uh, he worked with the Marion County Sheriff's Office in West Virginia and his end of watch was July 20th, 2021 and lost his life after suffered, after suffered a fatal heart attack shortly after uh, assisting other deputies with an arrest warrant. He was just 34 years old at the time of his passing, serving just four years alone with the agency. At the age of only 34, he also was the current police chief with the Grant Town Police Department and leaves behind a wife that also served as a police officer. So now I'll be running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track moving my school, which is the equivalent of one mile in his honor. I'll be willing to sign by many people, including three unmarked, uh, sorry, three undercover Orange County Sheriff's Office patrol cars, followed by a Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Patrol car, all joining us in the, in the patrol tonight. We're also joined by an Orange County Sheriff's Office sergeant, who is a part of the Central Florida First Responders Bagpipes and Drums, who will be playing tunes during the run. We're also joined by my sister, who's joining us in the mile, and my whole family. Even though it seems like it's just me, it's just me and my sister doing the running portion tonight, at the same time, there's even many more running, and that's all the fallen I have ran for. I know they're all running in spirits tonight, including fallen home confinement officer Michael Andrew Silman. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and department through three hearts of men are going through, and then I'll be on my way. that are tuning in tonight. Tonight, Zach Ryan now running his second mile of the evening to honor two first responders lost in line of duty this mile in honor of fallen home confinement officer Michael Andrew Silman. He worked with the Marion County Sheriff's Office in West Virginia. His end of watch, July the 20th, 2021. Tragically, he lost his life after suffering a fatal heart attack while assisting other deputies with a warrant. 34 years old, time is passing, serving a total of four years as a member of the Marion County Sheriff's Office in West Virginia. He also served as the acting police chief for the Grant Town Police Department. He's behind a wife who also serves in law enforcement. Zachary completing his first of seven laps, which is one mile, to honor this hero tonight. We're always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zachariah tonight. Helping to honor fallen home confinement officer Michael Andrew Silman. We have members of the Orange County Sheriff's Office. We also have a member of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation here tonight as well. Playing bagpipes tonight, we have a piper from the Orange County Sheriff's Office. And he's a piper for the Central Florida First Responder Pipes and Drums Band. Again, we're all here today to pay tribute to fallen home confinement officer Michael Andrew Silman of the Marion County Sheriff's Office in West Virginia, whose end of watch was July 20th, 2021 tragically losing his life after suffering a fatal heart attack while assisting other deputies with a warrant. 34 years old, having served four years as a member of the Marion County Sheriff's Office in West Virginia. He also served as acting police chief for the Grant Town Police Department. He's behind a wife who also serves in law enforcement. Zach Ryan now completing his second lap to honor home confinement officer Michael Andrew Silman tonight. He carries with him a unique flag. Each flag gets sent to the family of the hero. But he runs to honor this flag tonight. A blue line flag will get sent to the family. A fallen home confinement officer, Michael Andrew Silman, along with a note that Zechariah wrote earlier 
in the afternoon. If you'd like information on how you can be a part of this mission, please visit running the number four heroes.org. I'm gonna go silent starting on this next lap. I'm gonna remain silent for the duration of the run as we reflect on the life of this hero, four year veteran of the Marion County Sheriff's Office in West Virginia, fallen home confinement officer, Michael Andrew Silman. We send our thoughts and prayers up to the Silman family. In particular, we send a prayer out to his wife for her safety and for her healing over the loss of her hero. We also send our prayers to everybody with the Marion County Sheriff's Office mourning the loss of home confinement officer, Michael Andrew Silman. We hope this run honors him well. We thank him for his four years of service to his community.
Zachary, any final words tonight for the family? The fallen home confinement officer, Michael Andrew Simmons. To the whole family fallen officer, home confinement officer, Michael Andrew Silman, at birth in Marion County Sheriff's Office in West Virginia, where he lost his life in, as well as everybody with the Grant Town Police Department, which he was also the active serving police chief in. You know, I love it when I see law enforcement, not just in one person, but in the family. His wife was also a law enforcement officer, and I bet they, you know, learned from everybody, every, each, each other every single day and loved what they did. And at the age of only 34 years old, Home Confinement Officer Stillman was not only a Home Confinement Officer with the Marion County Sheriff's Office in West, West Virginia, but at the same time, at the age of only 34, he was already a police chief with the Grant Town Police Department. And like I said, his wife was also a police officer. He sounded like an amazing man, a young, dedicated person. And I bet his whole department, his whole family, especially his wife, is going through a hard time. My prayers are with this whole entire family. And if you're part of this family, I'll be sending you this blue line flag. I read it tonight in your hero's honor, as well as a handwritten note I've already written and ready to be sent down in your hero's name. There is no preference of what we want you to do with the flag of the note, but whatever you do with it, we hope to find comfort every single time we look at it, at it knowing that your fallen hero, Home Confinement Officer Silman, will never be forgotten down here in Florida and throughout the whole entire nation. My prayers are especially people over in West Virginia. We don't lose a lot over there, so my prayers with everybody going through a hard time. Just like the 21 gun salute, if all of you tonight would like to join me in a 21 second moment of silence, each second day, kidding, one amazing thing Home Confinement Officer and Police Chief Silman did, did during his life, including as a law enforcement officer, and an accomplishment or an accomplishment, accomplishment made during his life as well. So if all of you like better heads, this 21 second moment of silence to keep his memory alive, please, better heads right now. Thank you all very much for joining me in that 21 second moment of silence. Now, for one more time tonight, if all like bow our heads to submit a prayer for the both two young officers we had to unfortunately run for tonight. Dear God, tonight we're gonna to come out here and do two runs, both for very young fallen first responders who have lost their life in line of duty. They lost their life dedicating what they love to do, serving their community. And not only were they a police officer, but they also had a whole entire family behind them and wish they could go home to them every single day. Both of these line of duty deaths were for, from very young first responders who probably never even knew what was coming. But you know, that's what's just so incredible is how even though on some of their last calls, they never knew what was coming, they still dedicated their life during those calls no matter how hard it was. God, I know they had a huge family that are unfortunately going through a hard time. Watch over them. Use this run as a tool to help people heal and guide people to this run if they need comfort. Thank you again, God, and let's hope that as we are, as of right now, caught up on non-COVID-19 runs that we have to run for, let's hope that that can stay a trend for as long as possible. And even with other line of duty deaths, let's just hope that no more lose your life in the line of duty for at least a few weeks, and let's hope that we have a good break with no first responders losing their life in the line of duty. Thank you again, God, and Jesus, may I pray? Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining me in these two runs tonight. It means a lot to both these families. Like I said, as of right now, we are caught up. Say a prayer tonight. Let's hope that can, that can continue for as long as possible. I want to thank everybody who came out, and I hope this turnout means as much as possible to the families. Hope you have a great night. Hope you all stay safe, especially if you're a first responder working tonight, and I pray God blesses you all.